Hey everyone, welcome to April Favorites, and uh, I have quite a few things, so I'm going to jump right in. You may notice I am filming in a different location. It's really not. It's just a different angle with the windows over there. It's not as exciting, and I know you can't really see the dogs. Here's one. But I wanted to show you some colors, so it had been suggested to me that maybe the lighting would be better facing this direction. I won't keep it like this every time, but, you know, just trying to mix it up a little bit. Anyway, okay, here we go. I've mentioned this several times in recent videos. Um, this is my all-time favorite makeup brush for my face. Um, I don't know why I waited so long to buy this. It's been floating around YouTube for at least a year, I think, and it is the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki Brush. And um, there it is, it's flat, it's very dense. And I liken it to when you use the paint application on your computer and there's that special eraser button you can hit and drag your cursor and it just swipes everything clean. It's sort of the reverse effect. You, you dab this in your foundation and it swipes everything flawless. So um, I just, I love this. It's a bare to clean, I will say it does not dry quickly. Um, I haven't invested in those, uh, the Sigma dryer brush dryer system, but um, <laughs> I might have to because I use this so much and I'm probably gonna order that and a backup of this because love it. The other Sigma brushes that I got in that order were um, the, their, what is this called? Blending E25, it's their version of the MAC 217. I can't speak to how close it is because I don't own any MAC brushes, but I love this brush. It was the very first Sigma brush I got was as a gift, a little travel one. And I mean, this is two years old. This is brand new. They're both dirty and <laughs> they look exactly the same. So they do hold up. And um, I think if you could only use one brush to do your eye makeup, it would be this one because <clears throat> it's flat enough that you can pat on your eyeshadow and then you can turn it the other way and blend and um, it's very useful. So there you go. Um, I doubt that I'll ever buy a MAC brush because I think these retail for 8 or $9 and the MAC one is over 20 I think. So anyway. <clears throat> and then just to round out the Sigma um, haul as you will, they sent me some brushes um, when I joined their affiliate program and they're cool. I would say that these are not must-haves. The ones I showed you, I would say if you are a big makeup person, that's a must-have. These are if you just feel like adding stuff to your collection. And the ones that I use are the baby versions. The, the baby version, uh, the P80, is the Precision Flat Kabuki. I use this a lot to blend out um, concealer and then for getting in the crevices and stuff, and then this one too, I kind of switch them back and forth. Is the Precision Round P82. Same concept, but it's a, this is flat, and this is rounded. And they're both filthy, so there you go. Okay, enough hawking the Sigma products. I really do use them, obviously, because they're all dirty, but. Um, face products, I have two that I'd like to talk about. Um, the first one I was um, amused to see is also in Makeup by Tiffany D's Favorites, and it's because of her that I bought this, so I'm glad she still likes it. Um, it's the Instant Age Rewind Protector Finishing Powder with Goji Berry and SPF 25 Sunscreen. I have it in the color Nude, and um, it's been compared to the MAC MSF Naturals. Again, never tried it, I can't tell you, but I can tell you that I do like this. Um, it's just powder, it's nothing exciting, and then it has a second compartment uh, to open to get the little powder puff thingy in the mirror. And I will say that I guess that's an advantage to the MAC is that um, the MAC one doesn't have a mirror so it's kind of annoying to, um, or a place to store a little powder puff if you wanted one so it's not real portable. This is. Um, I don't look at this as like a coverage thing, like I wouldn't use this in place of foundation but it does set my makeup very nicely and doesn't get cakey when I sweat. So. And then the other one is also a recommendation. This one was from uh, Wendy Bentley Blonde, and she recommended the Conceal RX Physicians Formula, Physician Strength Concealer from Physicians Formula. I use Natural Light um, for blemishes. It's pretty thick. I have it on today, and um, so it does need some blending out, but it's 
it's awesome. Really like this. The f natural light, no, this is natural light. The less light, even Bosley's groaning in the background. He's like, really woman, get your words out. The lighter version of this is too light for my face. I have it, um, I would use it for under eyes. I don't, but you can. I may, who knows, anyway. Maybe in the winter it'll work for me. Okay, that's it for face. Um, eyes, I have, I'm missing something. No, there it is. Okay, I have three things for eyes. Um, again, totally influenced by YouTube. When I went to my Houston meetup, um, I'm forgetting her name again, and I can see her, and I am sorry, and I'm going to insert your name right here in, like, flashy lights because, um, she, beautiful skin, like, flawless, and I could not stop staring at her eyes, and I asked her what she was wearing, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible, the, the, um, these thingies, and she was wearing it in Amber Rush, and I have it on today, and that's all I have on as far as eyeshadow goes on my lids, and just blend it up a little bit, and so that's an Amber Rush, and it looks like that. That's pretty true. And uh, goes like that. I mean, it's just it's so pretty. And you keep this little doodaddy on, I guess, to press it down. I liken these to maybe pressed pigments, I guess. I don't know. And then I got this other one because it was buy one, get one half off. And this is iced latte. Looks like that in the package. And it... A wee bit lighter. So that's Latte and that's Amber Rush. I feel like I have finger puppets. Anyway, they're really cool and they really do last all day. That says they last, I think, 24 hours, 16 hours, something ridiculous claim. But um, actually, they do. I have had no creasing issues. I have worn them um, straight onto skin, worn them over a paint pot. No problems whatsoever. The other eye product oldie but a goodie, not that old, maybe a year. Um, it's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in, they always have these odd names, in Damsel. This is a dark brown eyeliner. Um, it's a retractable, creamy eyeliner. So it's pretty dark. It's not quite black, but it's, I wear it almost every single day. Um, I think black on me is a little harsh, I wear this every day. I have yet to find a creamier, better eyeliner than this. It is fabulous. I really like the Maybelline Master Drama Eyeliner in black. Very similar finish, but I tried the brown one, and for some reason the brown was very waxy and tugged on my skin, and this is almost like drawing in a liquid. It's that creamy, and it I don't know about waterproof. It says it is waterproof. But, I mean, look, it's already, I'm not, see, it's really not budging. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Lips. I have three things. I did a lip balm collection video. Y'all had so many wonderful things to say. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more. Really? Come on. You know me better than that. So I went to Ulta and I picked up the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm SPF 25 in Lemon and Chamomile. They also have it in Mint. I don't know that it works any better than any of my other lip balms, but it has two very nice features. Three. One, it has SPF 25. Two, the smell is divine. It's like, it's like the fresh sugar scent, but stronger. I mean, it's really lemony. And then the other one, which is pretty cool, it's from the men's section. So, when you put it on your lips, it's not glossy, because men do not want to walk around with glossy lips. But this goes on almost matte. So... It's great for layering under lipstick. Okay. Um, this was given to me by my friend Jerry for my birthday, among other things, and I have been using it religiously. Of course, not right now, but I was wearing it every other day this month, practically. And this is the NYX um, Sky Pink Lipstick. And I'm sorry, we're going to have to cut to the dog. You have to see this. There's one. Seriously, how does he sleep like that? Really, Boz? Can you hear him snoring? Hi! I'm sorry. Where was I? Sky Pink Lipstick. Um, 
It's beautiful. It's creamy. It's pretty. It looks like that. It has a nice satin sheen to it. Um, a luster, if you will. See? It's shiny. Doesn't need a gloss over it. Has a pretty decent staying power. I've been told this is a dupe for MAC Angel, I think. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I don't know. But it's a cool color, regardless of what it looks like. And then the last thing I want to show you is yet another one of these. You're going to think I've lost my mind. But I bought another YSL... I don't even know what these are called because they don't put the name on the product. It's on the box. And who keeps a box? It's these glossy lip stains. I think that's what they're called. And I got another one. This one is number 15. It's called Rose Vinyl. Or it's French, so maybe it's Rosé Vinyl. I don't know. But that's what it looks like. It's on my lips. I was wearing the other one that I have that I can't, I don't know, Rose Pastille, something like that. And uh, I wore it to my Houston meetup and I had it on for three hours and it was still opaque. It was still glossy. It had not budged through coffee and a snack. So I just, I love these, especially for summer or like I'm going to a party tomorrow and I don't want to have to keep touching up my lipstick at the party. So this is like the best of both worlds. I will say this one's a little brighter than I'm used to wearing and I blame it on my um, YouTube friends who convinced me to wear this or to buy it, but I am getting used to it and I like it and um, my husband does not like bright lipsticks on me but has not said a word about this so it passed his test. If With the lighter colors especially I would say put a couple layers on and then it's all good. Um, this one, like I said, you can just one, this is what it looks like, it's kind of a berry stain almost but if you want to tone it down a little, a little lip gloss on top, you're good to go. Okay, that's it for lips. Nails, I have one thing to show you. I feel a little like a traitor, veering away from my beloved Zoya, which I still think might be the best nail polish ever made. But I was um, at a spa with a friend, and um, they have a little like, gift shop area, and they carry spa ritual. And I have been looking everywhere for a perfect milky bluish pink that's opaque. And I found it for me. This is my holy grail color. It's this on my fingers. See, it's already dinged a little because it's not Zoya. But the color's really pretty. And it's called Reveal Yourself. So there you go. I really like it. And I don't know where to get spa ritual stuff, but I will put the name of it below and maybe you guys can figure it out and let me know. If you live in San Antonio, you can get it at the JW Marriott um, Spa gift shop. Hair products, um, I love my viewers. Somebody recommended this to me and it has completely changed my hair. It makes my hair feel and act like what I wanted it to do when I got that stupid keratin treatment. So, um, it is the Giovanni Too Chic, or not Too Chic, get it? <laughs> Too Chic Brazilian Keratin and Argon Oil Ultra Sleek Shampoo and Ultra blah, ultra Sleek Conditioner. And I don't know if the sale's still going on. I got these at Ulta and it was buy one get one free. So they're normally about eight something and then they were, it, and it was like, I think if you buy, one of them actually came with a travel size version of itself so that was kind of cool. And um, it just says for all hair types, smooth every strand, seduce with shine, banish frizz, safer color treated hair, sulfate free, paraben free, no phthalates, no artificial fragrance, no dyes, no sulfates, no parabens, no PEGs. I don't even know what those are. That's a new thing we shouldn't have. And it's vegan-ish. No, yeah, it's got the little bunny on it, so I guess it's cruelty-free. And um, these smell really good, too, I have to say. And they're soaking wet because I use them in the shower. But there you go. That's, that's what it looks like. There we go. Love them. I mean, really amazing. Just, okay, now my hands are wet, so I don't want to touch my hair, because then it'll frizz. But my hair is so soft since I've done it, I'm just, like, doing this all the time since I started using it. So there you go. Okay, last couple of products. Um, body product, again, influenced completely by watching YouTube. Um, this was from Anna, The Style Diet. She mentioned the Satsuma Body Butter, and then I bought the little trial size of it, and I love it. You can see how much I've already scooped out. And then a week or two later, bam, I get my Ulta Rewards. 
gift certificate and this was one of the choices seriously the full size I was like yes so that was a no brainer um last things have nothing to do with makeup and I'm sorry they're not book related either um but I want to tell you about them anyway they are beverages one is for everyone and one is for adults only I'll start with the everyone I think I've mentioned these before but it's getting on to summer warmer weather and I live on these in the summer um, they come in various sizes you get them at Walmart I have tried every other store brand but Walmart rocks it's the clear American sparkling water this one is key lime um, it comes in a gajillion flavors and some have like additives like I don't know vitamins or something whatever um, but you do not drink this for your health this is purely just for fun zero calories zero sugar zero caffeine zero sodium probably loads of other chemicals so you know but um, I like the key lime my personal favorite is the coconut I think it's pineapple coconut and you uh, for everyone 21 and over in the United States anyway um, add a splash of rum and you have a skinny girl pina colada um, and then for the adults ugh, this is heavy and freezing cold and wet if you live in Texas support your local wineries and get this immediately it's the Sister Creek Vineyards Muscat Canelli I believe yes this happens to be the 2010 year you can get these all over Texas in San Antonio I found them at the grocery store HEB Walmart um, Sister Creek is a vineyard in the hill country um, area of Texas Sisterdale and I know it's summertime when when this when they, these are stocked because there's nothing more refreshing and dangerous to drink than this because it goes down like like grape juice and uh, it's not exactly so be responsible with that and um, I was gonna mention something I didn't like and now I've forgotten what it is. Ah! You wanted book stuff? Um, I remember what it was. I read for my book club Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Not going to recommend that book. We can have a whole nother, I'm going to do a whole nother video on it because I'm that just disturbed by it. But um, I, it was, it was not, it's become a huge sensation at least in North America and um, all these housewives just can't get enough of it and my book club has voted to read the, the last two books in the trilogy as well, much to my horror. And I am just thoroughly disgusted that so many women like this book because I just, uh, mm. okay. Anyway, that was a fail for me. Didn't like the book. Rarely is there a book that I just really don't like. Um, this was one of them. And I am not approved. It wasn't exactly the sex per se. It was just the kind of sex and um, and the subjugation of women and there's more to it than that but that's a whole other video so let's just say total fail for me and if you loved it good for you but not so much from actually not good for you really why why could you it was poorly written it was just blech. okay anyway but I'm glad you're reading something so that's about it and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video, which will be part two of my full face tutorial, the whole eye thingy. So, um, that's it, and I will see you all then. Bye-bye.